Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing everything that I'm bringing in my hospital bag for baby number two. Um, I'm currently 37 weeks pregnant, and I also have, like, this pregnancy congestion cold thing going on, and so that's why I sound funny, but being 37 weeks, I was like, I should probably start <laughs> packing my hospital bag and getting everything ready. So first, I'm just going to share the things that I'm bringing for myself. Um, I am bringing some pajamas. Um, you can definitely just wear the hospital gowns that they give you the whole time if you want, but I'm thinking that I will wear those, so I'm going to bring that. And then I'm also bringing a going home outfit. So this one is just like a jogger set and it's something that like is super loose. These are like super loose like sweatpants. So those are the two outfits that I'm going to be bringing. And then I'm going to be bringing socks and some slippers. And I might use those as like my going home shoes. It kind of depends on what I feel like doing in that moment. Um, I'm also bringing two nursing bras and mostly they're just nursing friendly. They're kind of just two like comfy bras that I have and they're just nursing friendly. And so I just thought I'd bring two, see which one I want to wear. If I want to wear one, <laughs> we will see. And then I'm bringing some lanolin. This is actually like the best stuff. For nipple cream, I see people buying other like nipple butter stuff. That stuff doesn't work. But for me, that stuff works the best. And then I'm going to be bringing my Polaroid camera. Definitely not a necessity, but I thought it would be fun to bring. We'll see if we use it again. I feel like a lot of things I think of is like, oh, I should really use this or it would be good to use and then sometimes I don't end up using it but it's like at least I had it to like have the choice to use it so I'm gonna be bringing that and then I'm also gonna be bringing my donut pillow because I needed this so bad with my first and so we're gonna bring that again just in case and then um I am also bringing few other things that I don't have with me right now because it's like not ready to be packed but I'm for sure bringing like my toiletries and a hairbrush and chapstick and I'm also planning on bringing this camera and probably the charger with it and it's another one of those things where it's like I might use it I might not use it we'll see and then of course I'll be bringing like my phone charger and all the charging things that I need. Um, and then the only thing that I am not sure about yet is if I'm gonna bring my nursing pillow. Because the hospital has a lot of pillows, but sometimes you need to ask for like a lot of pillows to like get it to the right spot. So might be bringing my nursing pillow and might not be able to be like a in the moment decision, I think. And then I'm gonna share what I'm gonna be bringing for baby boy. So for baby boy, I'm gonna be bringing three different outfits just because I don't know like what size he'll fit best in and I also am not sure what sizes these some of these are because I would love to bring him home in like this cute little outfit and um and I just love that it's just like a white um for it and since it doesn't have like footies I have like socks for it um I'm just not sure if he'll fit into this yet or if it'll be too small and so that is the first outfit that I am bringing him and then I'm going to be bringing him um this outfit which is a size 0 to 3 so and it has like little footies and it's just like a sleeper because it's so easy simple and then this outfit as well because it's a newborn size so just to have different options depending on how big or small he is. That is what we were planning to bring for outfits. Um, last time when I was in the hospital with Paisley, I actually didn't ever put her in an outfit until she was going home. She was always just in swaddles and a diaper. And that was so easy because the nurses are always coming in and like checking your baby and like 
you're always changing their diaper and you're always doing skin to skin and you're always like your baby's like naked most of the time anyways so I thought it was pointless to like start putting clothes on her so she only had like a going home outfit that we needed so I only brought going home outfits but three is enough so it's all good and then I'm bringing this swaddle um this is mostly for like pictures because I like the swaddle look for pictures rather than an outfit and most hospitals provide swaddles so it's like I don't really need to bring this but I like it and I prefer um this like knit swaddle so I'm gonna bring that and then I have a car seat blanket it's like really small but it's like perfect for like newborns and so I love the size of it and it's so soft and it's like a good weight for March and when we'll be bringing the baby home so we'll see and then I also brought another blanket which is a little bit bigger I'm not gonna undo it because it's not fun but anyways a little bit bigger blanket um, also could be used for the car seat it just like depends it's one of those in the moment like do I want the smaller blanket right now or do I want the bigger blanket and I also have it like just to keep him warm and and it's soft so if we're doing like skin to skin I can like put it over us and it'll just be a cute little blanket to have while we're in the hospital um, and then I'm also bringing two pacifiers they've been sterilized that's why they're in these little little bags um, and this is another thing that I'm like I'm not sure if I'm going to be using it in the hospital yet um, but we'll kind of just see how he is and if he needs a pacifier that early then great one of them is nuke and one of them is I think it's Tommy Tippy I have no clue what the other one is but it's one of those and then the last thing I'm bringing for baby boy in the hospital is a portable cell machine and I got it all charged up and ready to go. So it is like ready to go. Um, but that would be nice to use just in case we need it. Um, I don't see us using it a ton. I could see us using it for putting him in his car seat when he's being fussy. Because Paisley did not like being put in her car seat the first time. And it was just like she was crying the whole time. And I felt so bad. And um... I think this will just like calm him down if he needs it or if we need it at any point. And also he could be fussy at night or during the day. And it just might calm him down. So I'm going to bring that just in case. And then the other things that I'm going to be bringing to hospitals, obviously a car seat. Um, and I don't think there's much else. Like where I'm from, the hospital provides so much for you and for the baby that you like hardly don't need to bring anything else um for my first baby I had no idea any of this so I brought like a ton of things like for me and like a ton of things for the baby and I, I think I brought like the whole diaper bag and I think I brought I did bring my pump and I, I left it in the car because it was like kind of weird um I wasn't sure if I needed it or not so I just left it in the car and looking back, I'm like, that was so dumb. Like, you don't need to bring your pump. You don't need to bring anything for, like, breastfeeding. You don't need to bring, unless, it, like, a pillow or my, like, your nipple cream. But, um, there's just a lot of things that you don't even need to bring. And, like, my hospital provides all of your adult diaper stuff and all of your cooling down there stuff. <laughs> and a lot of, like, all your medications that they want you to be taking. And so it's like, I don't need to be bringing all of that extra stuff so plus like I have tons of family that live super close and if I need something they can bring it and it's not going to be a huge deal oh something else that a lot of people bring are like shower shoes I might not bring shower shoes <laughs> don't come at me for that I'll be so honest with Paisley I took a shower like right after my epidural wore off and there was no time to like find my shower shoes and like make sure everything was super clean. And it wasn't like a full shower, but it was like still a shower in a place where you might want shower shoes. So I think that's like one thing that I might 
like that I would consider bringing and not think of it as like something you don't need. Literally, that's all I'm bringing. <laughs> I'm going to be packing in a duffel bag. So, um, I can't remember what size. I think it's like a 55 something. I don't know. But that's what I'm going to be packing in and all baby boy's stuff in there. And my husband can put his stuff in there if he wants. And my husband, I don't know what he's going to be packing. Because I, one of those people, I'm not in charge of packing him. If he wants to bring extra clothes and stuff, he can pack it. Like, he's a big boy. That is when I'm putting my hospital bag. I'm super minimalist. I really hardly used anything that I brought the first time with Paisley. I literally wore the hospital's gowns and the hospital's everything until the minute I left and the minute I left I didn't even like the outfit that I brought um I seen a lot of people pack like snacks and stuff um I packed snacks last time they didn't get eaten a lot of people overpack a lot of things you don't need to bring anyways thanks for watching this video